Hello guys, today we will study about spirochetes. So, they are microorganisms, they are motile helical bacteria, they are gram negative type bacilli. So, I hope you remember the difference between gram positive and gram negative bacilli. If not, I will just tell you, give you a quick revision. So, gram positive cell wall, it is thick, negative is thin. It consists of several layers of peptidoglycan, whereas gram-negative has um, peptidoglycan. But the outermost layer is lipoprotein and it also has lipopolysaccharide. Here, lipopolysaccharide is absent. Ticoic acid is present in gram-positive cell wall and ticoic acid is absent in negative. It stains, uh, positive cell wall stains uh, purple or blue and negative stains red or pink color. So, coming on spirochetes, uh, classification, spirochetes is basically order. It is divided into two families, spirochetaceae and leptospiracy. Spirochetaceae has four genres and leptospiracy uh, has two genres. These are spirocheta, Christispira, Triponema, Borrelia, and uh, leptospira and leptonema. So as I've told you, they are uh, gram-negative type cell wall. They are motile, flexible, twisted spirally along the long axis. The key feature here to note in spirochetes are, the, are that these are motile bacilli. And uh, structure uh, of uh, the, the spirochetes is similar to flagella. Because uh, flagella also help in uh, motility. So they are also known as endoflagella. This is also very important. So, uh, hum, uh, we uh, like. So, we use a uh, number of endoflagella per cell to identify various uh, various species of uh, spirochetes. So, if we have three to four uh, endoflagella, the species will be Triponema. If it has one, it will be Leptospira. If it has many endoflagella, like fifteen to twenty, it will be Borrelia. Borrelia. So now we have Triponema. Triponema is basically pathogenic uh, microorganism, spirochete. Uh, some are also uh, present in mouth and genitalia as uh, commensals. They are present naturally. These uh, species of Triponema cause human diseases. These are Pallidium, Triponema pallidum and Triponema coratium. The Triponema pallidum sub subspecies are Pallidum, which causes uh, syphilis. Endemesium, which causes endemic uh, syphilis, which is known as Bijil in local language. And Pertinu, which causes yaws. Triponema coratium causes Pinta. So, the morpho uh, morphology of Triponema is that as it moves across a dark field, it displays a characteristic, uh, characteristic tendency to bend at right angle near its midpoint, I mean uh, at its center. So the width of a Triponema is uh, 0 0.13 uh, micrometer in dried state and 0 0.2 micrometer in wet state. So it is more in wet state. So we observe observe the Triponema in its best wet state. It is best seen in wet living preparation. Dried preparation need to be thickened by silver impregnation methods. In uh, films, in dry films, uh, the method is known as uh, Fontana's uh, method. And we use dark ground microscope to observe it in wet living preparation. Dark ground method. Microscope. And for Staining films, we use Fontana's method. And by prolonged gymsa staining, it stains, uh, stains pale pink, as I've told you earlier, that gram-negative cell wall stains pink or red in color. 
so cultural characteristics it cannot be activated cultivated in uh, artificial media and are maintained by subculture in susceptible in animals for example in rabbit testers uh, nicholas stain of t palladium tiponema palladium is used and some non pathogenic uh, tiponemas like tiponema phage dennis which is also known as reiter tiponema and tiponema refrigerans it can also be cultivated so in next video i'll tell about uh, sensitivity to physical and chemical agent antigenic structure and pathogenesis which is very important uh, uh, we'll study about syphilis the types of syphilis and also the live di uh, diagnosis